main challenge in FDM 3D printing is to solve the seams of the print itself. The seams are basically the starting and the end point of each layer, which means in that point there will be not a continuity like in the rest of the print. We will use as an example this object, which is a manifold we designed here in Big Rep. Um, to slice this 3D model, we use Simplify 3D, which is a slicer software. The main reason why we're making this video is to show actually how to hide the seams in a more complex object. So here we are with our manifold on Simplify 3D. We use the setting of our studio machine. So how you can see the object is placed, the position is 150 to 100, so the center of the object will be at that coordinates, and the height of the object is 32 centimeters. So first of all, we are going to try different slicing method. So there will be just one process for the full print height. So when you go to the layer tab, we can use, use random start points for all perimeters. After we generate the G-code, we keep the retraction active so we can see them and we can see how Simplify actually generates starting points always in a different location, random, which will make of course the printing not a high quality print. Instead, if we go and we try to optimize start points, when we generate the G-codes, we can see that the starting points are not placed randomly, but actually are in a smart way, let's say, to make the print faster. So whenever the layer will be done, like with the infill or whatever, the new layer will start from the closest point. If we instead we choose the starting point uh, close to a specific location, in this case we put 0, 0. If we check the G-code, we will see how there are not seams, of course, on the right side of the object, but close to the 0, 0 coordinates, we will see all the seams. Of course, still, this is not a clean way because we don't hide the seam on the place where we want them. So here we are instead with an improved version. So how we can see the object is still in the same position. So we know that the center of the object is 150x, 200y. And the height of the object itself is 320 millimeters. So as we can see, we have different processes that we use to have the seams in the right position. Like this process, for example, goes from 1.2 millimeter to 131 millimeter. And the starting points, we use like as coordinates 185x and 180y, which as we can notice accordingly with the position of the objects, are basically in the center of the object, but slightly moved on the right, where exactly we want the seams. If we check this other process, for example, we can notice how we change the starting points coordinates, and this will affect another portion of the object itself. So if we like generate the G-codes for just this process, we can see how the seams exactly are placed in the position we want. So at the end, if we render the wall processes all together and we generate the G-code, we can see how the seams actually follow exactly the path we want them to follow. So as you can see from our short video, having a better knowledge of a slicing software can generate a much better quality print. So here at Big Rep, we will keep you updated with new slicing tips, so keep following us.